Hello friends, this video on comparing quantities part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now when we deal with percentages, we also deal with addition or subtraction of percentages. So let us see how do we handle addition and subtraction with percentages. So let's look at examples to understand this. Let's say if what would you do if you have to add 50% to 30%. How would you add this 50% plus 30%? So the addition, so basically what is 50%? It is nothing but 50 out of 100. What is 30%? It is again nothing but 30 out of 100. So basically this would be 50 plus 30 which is 80 out of 100. So this would actually be equal to 80%. So when you add two percentages, you just add them like normal numbers and then put a percentage. Let's look at another example. Let's say you are adding 23% with 5.1%. So what you do, you just add 23 with 5.1. So you get 28.1%. The same is true for subtraction as well. For example, 50% minus 30%. What would it be? 50 minus 30 is 20. So this would be 20%. Similarly, if you talk about 80% minus 30%, so what would it be? This would be 50%. So basically addition and subtraction on percentages are as simple as addition and subtraction on whole numbers or any other numbers. Now the question is why are we learning so much about percentages? How would percentages help us in our day to day life? So for this, let me give you a problem statement. Let's say that I tell you that I save rupees 400 from my salary and if this 400 is 10% of my salary, can you guess my salary? Now, if you have knowledge of percentage, you can very easily find out my salary. So do you know how would you find it out? So let, let's assume that the salary is X because we do not know how much the salary is. So let's assume that the teacher's salary is X. And as per the question, it says that 10% of the salary is being saved every month. So 10% of X is nothing but 400. So 10% of X would be 10 by 100 into X is equal to 400. So now this is a very simple equation and we can very easily solve it. So this would be 10x is equal to 400. Here it was divided by 100. So this becomes multiplied by 100 when it comes to the right hand side. So x will be equal to 400 into 100 divided by 10. So this is equal to 4000. So the teacher's salary is rupees 4000. So you see in these kind of day to day problems, we can make use of percentages. So let us look at another problem statement. In a city, 30% are females, 40% are males and the remaining are children. What percent are children? Now, we do not know the exact number of males, females or children in that city, but we are just interested in the percentage. Why? Because that would help us to know that whether we have very lesser number of females or very less number of males. So it gives you an idea about the number of males and females you have in that city. So how do you do this? Now, when you say 30% are females, what does that mean? That means 30 females out of 100. 30 females out of 100. That means if you assume that the total number of people in that city is 100, then out of those 100 people, 30 are females. Similarly, it says 40% are males, which definitely means, means that there are 40 males out of 100. And the percentage of children is not known. So let us assume that there are X percentage of children. So X percent children means X children out of 100. So from this, we can say that X plus 40 plus 30 is equal to 100. So these numbers are true only when we assume that the total number of people in that city is 100. So only when total number of people is 100, 30 will be female, 40 will be male and X will be children. So we can write it as X plus 40 plus 30 is equal to 100. So this is X plus 70 is equal to 100. So X is equal to 100 minus 70 which is equal to 30. Does that mean that there are 30 children in the city? No, because these are not the real number of 
males, females or children. These are the percentages. So this means that there are 30% children in that city. Now the exact number could be anything. Right, the exact number could be anything. Here we are only talking about the percentage. So if we assume that the total number of people in that city is 100, in that case there are 30 females, 40 males and 30 children. So basically we are talking in terms of percentage. Now in case there are 1000 people in that city, in that case the number of females would be 30% of 1000. So 30% of 1000 would be 300. Similarly, number of males would be 40% of 1000, which would be 400 and so on. So this is the usefulness of percentage. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.